Hey guys, it's Jessie B. So as you can see from the title of this video, today is going to be sort of a paranormal update about things that are going on in my house. And I know a lot of you probably think, really Jessie, more stuff is happening. Like I know you're not surprised at this point. I realize that. I know I sound ridiculous, but hey, you guys keep watching, okay? So you're just as intrigued as I am. Paranormal stuff both fascinates me and terrifies me. I'm just a very weird human being. But there have been some very weird things happening in my house the past two weeks. So I'm going to sort of discuss those things with you and then I also have some very creepy ghost orbs that I caught on my security camera that I'll show you as well. I think I have two videos of those happening. But yeah, I just, you know, ghosts just seem to cling to me. They just... They always come in my general direction. They just love being around the Jesse B. So let's just briefly go over what's already happened. I've seen white footprints, like white powdered footprints on my wood floor downstairs. I found those really weird drawings in my basement. I think I talked about this on my vlog channel and not my main channel, but I have this cross. When I first moved in, you know how the forest really freaked me out and then eventually I caught that ghost in my footage? Well, the previous owners had actually put a cross on the very back porch that that aims towards the forest. It's just like right by the door where you go out to look at the forest. I don't know if this is a thing, but maybe the previous owners were trying to keep something out of the house with that cross. I'm not too sure, but I know they took everything out of the house when they left, but they kept the cross there for me. So I don't know what's with that, but that also freaked me out. I told you guys a few days ago about those big clumps of flies that were on my window in my laundry room. Like just clumps randomly were just there. And then um, last week, Ty came over and we were hanging out in my kitchen and I have this security system that basically tells me when there's motion in my house. So if someone's like walking around in the laundry room, a sign will come up that says motion in the laundry room. Or if someone's walking upstairs in my bedroom, it'll say motion in bedroom. So it just tells me like where there's movement in my house. And as you guys know, I am never in my basement. My basement freaks me out. There's no one down there. There's no furniture down there. It's just completely empty. So Ty and I were hanging out in my kitchen and suddenly, we saw on the little screen that it says motion detected in the basement. And that's happened before um, at my house towards the beginning of when I first moved in, but it hasn't happened a second time. So it said that. And then another notification came up that said basement window open, which is super creepy. So Ty runs down into the basement, obviously, to see what's going on. He walks around, looks at all the windows. All the windows are closed. Everything looks okay. And he comes back upstairs and he's like, there's nothing down there. And I was like, that's so weird. Like, what the heck was that? So I kind of just forgot about it. And a couple days later, I go downstairs and there's this giant dead mouse in like just the center of my basement. And like, I get that it's probably, I don't know, somewhat normal to have mice or rats in your basement because, you know, it's underground. It's easy for them to like enter. But the fact that it was just dead in the middle of my basement. So like, here we have insects in clumps in my house. We have now dead animals. Like, what the heck? Motion in places where no one is. And then a couple days later, I was taking a nap in my bedroom and suddenly I get woken up by an alarm. And I'm like, what the heck is this alarm in my house? Because it's not the smoke alarm. It's not like the alarm for the doors or anything. It's an alarm I've never heard before. So I walk downstairs into my kitchen and my fridge doors are wide open and the fridge alarm is going off because I guess after a certain amount of time, your fridge alarm goes off to tell you to close the doors. And I was like, how the heck? Did my fridge doors open and like suddenly the alarm just goes off and it was just it was just super super weird so I don't know what the heck is going on in my house guys but it's definitely freaking me out quite a bit I'm trying to think there's got to be other things that have happened that I'm not mentioning right now oh the other night I took Winnie in my backyard we were just walking around and suddenly I heard this little girl singing like deep in the forest like it was like a far off sort of singing sound I couldn't tell what word she was saying because it was so far off but it was definitely a little girl's voice and I have mentioned before that I've heard a little girl laughing in the forest. I remember I sent a Snapchat to my sister Mandy and she freaked out. The logical explanation for this singing is there is far off behind the forest. There is another house there. I don't know if that house has kids and maybe like a little girl was outside singing randomly, but it was like 10 p.m. Like, why are you outside, little girl? I don't know, that was definitely weird. I think that's all I can think about right now. It just freaks me out because you know when I did that haunted eBay doll video, I talked about how when they had something haunted in their house, there was those like birds hitting the window, so that's animals dying. I had an animal die in my basement, okay? They had like bugs showing up in clumps, which with me, it's the flies. Like it's literally everything that this other person was dealing with. So I don't know. Mandy says she's gonna bring over some sage 
and sort of like cleanse the house because I seriously might need that. I don't know. But it's definitely, it's definitely just scary. I mean, at night I hear like just things in the house, like movement, like footsteps and stuff. And I don't know. It's just, it's just freaking me out a bit. But um, let me get to the ghost orbs. So I did show an orb a couple months ago, I think, that I caught on my security camera. But the ones that I caught this time, there's way more of them in one area. And they definitely aren't bugs because with bugs, you can see wings, you know, fluttering. These are literally just clearish circles because orbs, a lot of the time, you can sort of see through them. And they slowly just go around my camera. And it's very, very strange. And like I told you guys before, my camera is meant to catch human or animal activity only. So if a large person like comes to my door, a large person, they don't have to be large. Just if a person comes to my door, the camera will capture that motion. Or if like a cat comes on my porch or something of a larger size, that's what the camera is meant to detect. It doesn't detect bugs or changes in weather or rain. It only catches a big, you know, amount of movement. So it's so weird how my camera, and by the way, my camera is capturing this at like three in the morning, not exactly 3 a.m., but like 3.15 or like 3.23. It's very, very strange, but it's always while I'm sleeping and like early hours of the morning. The witching hour, oh my goodness. But yeah, I'm gonna show you this footage and you guys can just tell me what you think. Here you go. So yeah, isn't it weird how they come in like clumps? It's almost as if a ghost is walking up to my security camera and like looking at it as if to tell me like, I know you can see me or like I'm watching you or just something really weird. I feel like for those people watching my videos who don't believe in the paranormal, I probably look like a psycho person. Like I completely understand that. But I think there's just a point where if you've experienced so much paranormal, I completely believe it because that's what I've been through. And I know a lot of you guys, like I read a lot of your comments and you tell me your experiences as well. And it's, it's really scary. It's just funny though, because I had um, a psychologist, I believe, email my business email telling me that he could like talk to me and like, I think he thinks I'm crazy. Now I have psychologists try to contact me, so. You know, all is good in the brain over here sometimes. But yeah, that is my little update for you guys. Um, I definitely want to do a paranormal update every once in a while, especially if things are happening. And I'll keep watching my security tapes. Hopefully, you know, nothing else happens. Oh, I don't think, did I tell you guys about this? I think it was last month. There were three days in a row where at 9 p.m. someone or something would ring my doorbell at 9 p.m. on the dot, three days in a row. And for some reason, whenever I went to look at my security footage, it wouldn't show me anything. It was very strange. And when I told Ty about it, he freaked out because he thought that maybe it was like someone ringing my doorbell to see if I would answer it and uh, like then rob me a few days later. So he thought that maybe it was like some people trying to rob my house. I don't know, but that has stopped now. So all is good in that area, but my life is, uh, my life is crazy apparently. But yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time and I'll keep you updated and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!